Hi, fourth graders. Um, we're entering week 13 of remote learning, and we're going to be doing um, one more lesson in module four, and then we're also going then we're going to start two lessons in module five this week. So we'll be doing a total of three lessons this week. I'll be doing three different videos for you. So you're going to be doing a um, module four lesson two for this video, and it starts on page 81. So please get your papers and a pencil out so that way you can follow along with the instruction, and then you can do your um, the black and white um, 4.2 um, more practice slash homework worksheet independently and then get it to me at school so that way I can grade it. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well and um, we've got a push for the next two full weeks and then two days before our Christmas break and I know you guys can work really hard um, to get all of this work done and to show me what you know. Alright, so I'm going to get my camera all ready and I hope you have your papers all out and we're ready to go. Alrighty. So our first lesson is, um, like I said, module four, lesson two, and we're going to be exploring division patterns with tens, hundreds, and thousands. So remember last week we were exploring multiplication patterns with the tens, hundreds, and thousands. And now we're going to be um, looking at the same kind of pattern, but with, in, with division instead of multiplication. So when you're done, you're, you will be able to use basic fact patterns and place value to divide a multiple of 10, 100, or 1,000 by a one-digit number. So the Golden Gate Bridge is a famous landmark in California. A toy store has a model on display of the bridge made out of blocks. The model is made using 9,000 blocks. Before it is put together, the blocks are stored in three bins. Each bin has the same number of blocks. How many blocks are in each bin? So let's look at this problem again. So we can see that the toy store makes the model and the model is made out of 9,000 total blocks. So the whole model has 9,000 blocks. But before it's put together, they have all the blocks put in bins and they're using three bins to store their blocks and each bin has the same number of blocks. So I'm gonna represent this with three circles. These are my three bins, okay? Now I'm not gonna put a thousand in each, but I'm gonna show that each square that looks like this is gonna be 1,000, okay? So I've got nine of them. So I can put one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So how many thousands are in each bin? Well, I can see I have 3,000 in this bin, 3,000 in this bin, and 3,000 in this bin. So that tells me that 9,000, whoops, oh my goodness, I'm getting ahead of myself. 9,000 divided by three, which is what my problem is, 9,000 stored in three bins, 9,000 divided by three equals 3,000. And I know this because I can divide by nine by my three, which gives me my three, and then I just need my three zeros on the end. So very similar when we were doing our multiplication, we're just dividing now. So we'll look at the next page. A toy store sells toy cars in packs of 320. A group of eight friends wants to share one pack. How many toy cars will each friend get? Start with a simpler number. Represent how many cars each friend would get from a pack of 32 cars. Write a division equation for the basic fact you know. Well, if I I'm look at this number, 320, and I'm dividing it by 8, right? Because each pack has 320 cars, and 8 friends are going to divide them evenly. And I look at this number, and I can see I have a 32 there. I know that 32 and 8 are related. I know that I can divide 32 divided by 8 because I know there's a multiplication fact times 8 that's going to equal 32. So I can, if here are my 8 friends... 
And if I divide out my 32 evenly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Each friend, well not each friend, but the simpler problem would be 38 divided by 8, 32 divided by 8, which equals 4. So how are 32 and 320 related? Well, you're just renaming this. If I have 32 tens, isn't that the same as 320? So what could I do to this problem so that way I did 300 so that way I could do 320 divided by 8? I renamed this to 32 tens. So 32 tens divided by 8 would equal 4 tens, right? 32 tens divided by 8 equals 4 tens. And 4 tens is the same as the number 40. So 320 divided by 8 equals 40. So each kid would get 40 toy cars. So notice how we could take our 32, divide it by 8, and then what did I put at the end? The 0 that was there. So let's step it out. So the toy store sells sticker sets for $9. How many sets does the store have to sell to make $270? How many do they have to sell to make $2,700? So we're going to make use place value to rename these numbers. So if I have 270, how many tens do I have? Well, I would have 27 tens, right? 27 tens is the same as 270. How many hundreds do I have? I take off my two zeros. I have 27 hundreds. So I'm dividing each of these by 9. Well, 27 divided by 9 is what? 27 divided by 9. What times 9 equals 27? 3. So that tells me that 270 divided by 9 is the same as 27 tens divided by 9, which is 3 tens, and 3 tens is the same as 30. So 27 divided by 9 is 20, 20, ah, is 3, and then I have my 0, so I put that at the end, so 30. So 3 tens is 30. So the same thing down here, we've got 27 hundreds, right? And our 27 hundreds divided by 9 are 3 hundreds. And how would you represent 3 hundreds? That's 3 hundreds, right? <coughs> so the store needs to sell 30 sets to make $270 and 300 sets of stickers to make $2,700. That's a lot of stickers to sell. All right, so let's do some practicing down here. Two friends split a $2,000 prize. So two friends are splitting $2,000. So how much money does each of them get? Well, our simpler problem is 2 divided by 2. So if we did 20 divided by 2, we would get 10. 200 divided by 2 would be how many zeros? 100. 2,000 divided by 2 would be... 1,000. So 2,000 divided by 2, they would each get $1,000. Number 2, Ari has 2,000 marbles. He puts the same number of marbles in each of five bags. How many marbles are in each bag? Well, we know that 20 divided by 5 equals 4. And 200 divided by 5 equals 40. Right? This time you just do the one zero, right? Because 20 has something in common with 5, a 4. So 2,000 divided by 5 would be 400. 
So there are 400 marbles in each bag. All right, 84. So here we're on the on your own part. If you want to pause the video and do this independently, you can, and then come back and check your answers, or you can stay right with me and do this together. A printer needs to send 3,000 books to six libraries. Each library must get the same number of books. How many books should the printer send to each library? Complete the pattern to solve. So the printer needs to send 3,000 books to six different libraries. So when I'm looking at the number 3,000, I know that 30 and 6 have something in common, and that's a 5. 30 divided by 6 equals 5. So then I've got my two extra zeros. So 3,000 divided by 6 would be 500, right? So we had 5, 50, 500. So the printer should send... 500 books to each library. I just need my two zeros added to the end of my five because six divide, or 30 divided by six equals five. A dairy farm produces 8,000 gallons of milk each week. The milk is stored in these tanks. Each tank holds the same amount of milk. How many gallons does one tank hold? Well, how many tanks do we have? One, two, three, four. So my problem here is 8,000 divided by four. Well first, I notice something in common with my eight and my four. Eight divided by four equals what? Two. So I have eight thousands divided by four would equal two thousands. So each tank holds two thousand gallons of milk. We're going to skip number six. So number five, use place value and patterns to find the quotients. Well, let's just, let's look at these. I can see a pattern. I can see something in 63 and seven. 63 divided by seven equals what? What times seven equals 63? Nine. So I've got 63 tens. So 63 tens divided by seven equals nine tens which is 90. And finally, 4,500 divided by nine. I can see that my 45 can be divided by nine. What times 45 equals nine? Five. And this is 45 hundredths divided by nine. So this would be 500. 45 hundredths divided by nine equals 500. Okay, so you are going to do 4.2 independently. You are going to be able, it looks like, I'm going to have you do the whole thing. Yep, everything looks good. You should be able to do it all. Alrighty, so you're going to do the whole thing, and then you are going to turn it into me. You're going to either take pictures of it and send it to me, or you are going to bring it into school and drop it off so that way I can grade it. Um, and then we have two more lessons. There will be two more videos after this one that you will need to do by the end of the week. All right, I will see you soon. Bye.